what's up guys this is Will Muhammad in today video we are going to learn about the file port plugins which we have missed in the last video so um, first of all uh, I would like to tell you about a few changes in in the last video code uh, which are uh, not very big but very small but they are good for per, uh, for the performance like I have applied this uh, check here uh, if these if the CNIC image is coming then perform all this action uh, one more change which I have applied is uh, after performing all these things uh, uh, the, the temporary image from the um, temporary table should be deleted as well and it uh, because it has moved to the uh, its own table images table like uh, here we are doing this same for the self images of user profile images you can see it I have applied this check here and then I'm deleting it here let's see what I'm saying on the front end currently we don't have any image for the CNIC and user images let's upload and let's upload for the images currently those images are saved here okay you can see these is temporary uh, table so upon saving we have to remove all all these images from this table and we will move uh, those images to this final destination so let's click the save button records are here and this table will be empty right now okay so let's move to the file porn plugins first of all we are going to look into the image preview plugin let's go to the documentation first of all let's install it okay to installation we have to import CSS files we have to import the preview plugin sorry in app.js okay that's imported what's next the CSS CSS is copied and imported here final register this plugin okay so we are going to register this plugin okay the plugin is registered according to uh, documentation uh, by default allow image preview property has a true value so i think uh, when we upload the image it should be previewed previewed by default let's see yeah it's, it's showing here so if we want to disable it we can uh, set uh, this value to false let me show you what i'm saying let's move to our blade file uh, no, 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 this one not this one yeah it is here so in this area we will set it to false and as by default is it was true so it will not show the preview yeah it's not showing 
let's delete it back and enable it and we can we can um, set it to true as well in either way it will work okay that's it uh, let's add the user images you can see the preview okay what's the next next thing image we can set the image preview minimum height and maximum height as well like in this way let's suppose 200 image preview minimum height and maximum height maximum height let's suppose 150 so let's check it yeah that sizes are applied what is the next thing image preview height image preview maximum file size you can um, play with all those things okay so the next uh, plugin which we are going to check is i think uh, validation validation we are going to check the validation plugin file type validation first of all let's install it and clear it right goes to the second line okay after installation we have to import the plugin in our app.js similarly here okay done and after that we have to register the plugin so let's register it here okay it is registered now now we are going to use it uh, allow file type allow file type validation properties uh, default value is true so we are not going to make it false uh, you can check you can set the accepted file types like let's suppose we apply this one accepted file types if we want to only accept the images yeah this one So now only images will be uploaded no other type of file will be uploaded like uh, let's try for something different so all files yeah, you can see file is of invalid type so i was uh, trying to upload a mark file so in this way we can as well try the other properties of this plugin uh, i think these are enough after that we will use the 
valid validate size plugin i think we should try that one as well or uh, which one preview we have tried transform validate size okay let's try this one in same way we have to install the validate size plugin then we have to import it i don't think so i need to try this as well allow image validate size property by default it's true we can uh, do image validate size minimum width the minimum Im image width uh, and this property is for maximum width in the same way we will apply all these properties in our uh, this area okay so uh, we can we can apply this uh, the message show when the image is too big we can um, show this error or this message to the user as well so i hope uh, guys i have explained uh, file pond uh, to the best way according to my knowledge uh, uh, if you want to see uh, uh all all those things and understand do watch the previous video do comment the video and please subscribe my channel i'm trying my best to, uh, to share my knowledge with uh, you the people thanks buddy okay bye bye